Hi, Cancer. This is Jess with your April 26th weekly general read. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Cancer, some of you guys are in a hopeless situation with someone or yeah, like someone doesn't have anything. Money is a challenge. And I do feel for some of you, you now you're being challenged because someone needs your help. Um, or you have to take up all the slack. For some of you, you're just not in the best place right now financially. And you may be thinking the worst. So there's that. Okay. And that is a bit of a challenge for you. But your message is to keep an open mind that things will be changing. This is a heavy, heavy week, guys. Uh, I think today, if I'm not mistaken, is the full moon in Scorpio. Today or tomorrow. I think it's today. Uh, so yeah, there's that. So um, my readings have really been pretty heavy, particularly about death or an ending of something of some sort. And you're no different. So don't blame me. It's the energies around right now. For some of you, there can definitely be a loss. For some of you, though, I see it's a loss of money or stubbornness. It's something that someone's been holding on, or you've been holding on to, and you're going to have to just make a change. You're going to let have to let it go. A huge change is coming for you. You may not see this change until Taurus season, probably the end. It'll all be behind you by the time we get into Gemini season. But there is some sort of you going through this transitional phase. It's a transitional phase for you. It's not like just coming and bam, like I see in Gemini's reading. Yours is more of a transitional thing. And it is something that is kind of something that you've been so stuck to, holding on to. Like it's slowly but surely moving you out of that and you'll be moving really completely past it probably by Gemini season. Be careful with your heart or anyone around you. Heart health is very important right now. Someone even may suffer a heart attack and I don't even speak about health. So I'm not giving you health advice, but this is just to say that you might want to be very conscious of that or others around you. Some of you could be dealing with not knowing exactly what's wrong with you or someone in your life, in your home life. I do feel like someone's nursing a person back to health or having to make a lot of sacrifices for a particular person. And it may be all for naught. I don't know what that means, but it's almost like I've put all this time, energy and effort and it's like it was pointless, you know. Um, I do feel like there is a end that is coming. You can feel it, you can taste it, you can see it. It's coming. Um, and it may be very disappointing, even to, for some of you, heartbreaking to have to deal with the acceptance of a loss of something, a loss of someone. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to have to say that. My condolences if that's the case for anyone. But yeah, with this scor heavy Scorpio energy, I'm seeing it a lot, unfortunately. If you are employed, though, there can even be showing up of a loss of someone at the workplace or someone that they know. Again, I'm trying to get off of this, guys, but I see it. I have to say it. I do feel for some of you, you're trying to kind of rebirth your your um, energy at work. So you're trying to get your energy back and get your mojo back and get your love back for, for the work that you do. But you just may feel like I'm, I'm not growing anymore in this place. I was just telling Gemini the same thing. You guys pretty much have the same kind of reading as Gemini, completely different cards, but the message is saying the same thing. So this is just this feeling um, as if you could do better. You could be better. There's more where you elsewhere. There's more elsewhere. Uh, but I don't necessarily see you ready to leave or willing to change. Um, it's going to kind of be forced upon some of you cancers of having to make a change, even though you know this isn't necessarily the, for, the, for my for my better good, there is a supervisor, manager, someone who is very stifling to your own growth. Um, and there may be some type of end that's coming between you and this, like your job or this person they could be leaving or like I said, you're going to leave, but you're still holding on and it's out of fear. So that's going to um, change for you. If you are looking for employment, you're going to make something happen. You will. The issue is, though, going back to this keep an open mind card, you've got to keep an open mind cancer because you they may not be meeting you where you want to be. You may need 4,000 or 40 percent more than what they're asked, what they're willing to give. Um, there needs to be some type of compromise here. So for some of you, you're going to have to compromise one way or the other. But you can supplement that income. You have to step outside of the box and find other ways of how can you supplement the income that you may not be getting from a salary. Um that you could possibly make in other ways. I do see that. That's why that keep an open mind is there. 
uh, to remind you of that. And you don't need to be so fearful. If you have your own business, I see that you are working yourself ragged. Yeah, take some time. You don't want to overwork yourself. I do see you working a lot. I also see you falling out of love with the work that you do. Not feeling it as much as you used to. Some of you may be extremely emotional over all the work that you have to put in just to see a profit. Um, so yeah, I, again, ma major changes for cancers and that's for just by probably every sign. Um, major changes in where you are right now, t looking at where you're at, taking inventory and not just career, but in every area of your life, you're taking inventory. And I feel like it's time to kind of balance the scales. If you feel like you've been doing too much for any person or group, um, or entity, it's time for you to say, no, I need to make a shift. I need to balance this out so that I am satisfied. I feel happy. I do see a leap of faith coming up for some of you. You're just going to do something. Oh yeah. For some of you, you're just going to let go of a job or let go of the stress, anxiety, worry that you've been carrying. You're going to let that go. For some of you, I do see an unexpected trip, but I feel this is more for those of you who have been just carrying too heavy of a load. You do want to start over. You really do. Um, and I do feel like you guys, you guys may be idealizing or fantasizing about what your ultimate um, perfect life would be, you know. Now, let's look at your love life. Uh, singles, you have, for some of you, a fire sign is coming your way. A fire or a water sign will be coming your way. And you may feel like this is like um, a happily ever after, like a very strong, solid, beautiful connection that you have with another person. Uh, for some of you, it's a more of a friend group. It's not even a love connection, but you may have a friend um, that you develop a very strong connection with that you'll probably have in your life for a very long time others of you though uh you have good quality people coming your way your ex is letting you go realizing and for some of you it was a third party situation and someone obviously wasn't chosen so it was like okay three is a crowd now it's just the two of us and they've either, either accepted it that they had to move on and that you know, they're moving on without you, one or the other, right? And there's a baby that's coming up here. So I do see either you're going to have a kid with the person you're with or they will, but I do see a child coming up. And this is a significant relationship, whether your ex has moved on to someone else and you're now left behind, they're going to be with this person for a long time. Or if it's you, you will be with this person for a long time that you're with now. There's something about leaving one and moving on to another, and that being a significant relationship. So there's that. Um, now let's look at your love life a little deeper with ladies, cancer single ladies. Hmm. Let's see. You've been taking some time. Some of you, again, my condolences, you've been mourning the loss. And for some of you, nobody died. It's just you've been mourning the loss of a relationship. And you're finally putting that to bed. You're looking forward to this summertime, ladies. Yeah, you're looking forward to the summertime. You're looking forward to getting out there and doing some things. And probably um, you're starting to answer the calls that have been coming your way. Yes, it looks like someone wants to woo you and spend some time with you. It could be you following up with people too, making, extending your hand to someone. It could go vice versa, of course. But I do feel like there's going to be some communication that's kind of picked up. Um if you have ladies put someone on hold only to now go back to them, that may not even be an option for you. It may not be. Someone may put a bad taste in your mouth and you say, see, this is the reason why I do not. <laughs> this is why I don't do this because of that. So again, it's saying for you to keep an open mind, keep that momentum, keep it light, keep it fun and interesting. I feel like if you don't now, you'll, you'll only do it later on, ladies. You will get back to this place of feeling like, yeah, I really do want to entertain and be entertained by someone. So there's that. I want to see for those of you taking a trip. Ooh, the trip is going to be fun. So if any of you are planning to take a trip, the trip is going to be fun, but it's like you still have to go back home to where, to your reality. Let's put it that way. There's some reality that you got to go back home to, but it will be a nice escape for any, any of you that's planning on taking a trip. Cancer single men, I see that you guys aren't going to let 
this big bad wolf get you down. You have been in your head. And usually I see cancer women going through the motions quite a bit. But you men are now taking that front seat and you are going through the motions like nightmares or staying up late, just really fearful and scared. I feel like right now you are stabilizing yourself and really learning the lesson and going deep within to process where you are, what has all taken place, where do you go from here. Be careful not to turn vindictive or petty uh, with anyone. I think for some of you, you may have felt like you've gotten a raw end of the stick when it comes to dating or women, two in particular. So be careful that you don't stay stuck in a place of um, pain, you know, hurt. Because I feel like it's behind all of this mental anguish, it really is hurt and disappointment that lies there. And I do feel like some of you cancers are going to have a good cry at home and just really let out your emotions. But there's someone that needs your attention, so you really can't just you know, let it rip as much as you probably would by yourself. But there is something that you guys are going through that is a tough thing. And if you like to share, I would love to know what it is just as a confirmation that, yeah, Jess, you're, you're, you're right. You don't even have to explain too deep if you don't want to, but just saying that it resonates would be great enough for me. Thank you. So couples, before I even go into couples, I just want to say if any of this resonates with any of you cancers out there, my heart goes out to you and just know it is going to get better uh, one day at a time. You guys, as, as long as I've read for cancers, it's like a peak and valley. It's like you guys have when you go through your stuff, you really go through your stuff. And so my heart really does go out for you. So, I, you know, I hope that you this is the tail end of it and you see brighter days as soon as the end of the this reading. <laughs> Now, cancer couples, um, everybody is kind of getting the same reading. For some of you, this is a moving past darker times with a person, with your person, right? Because it's couples. Um, and I do feel that um, children may have helped move this along. Like, let's move past this. For some of you, if it's not children, it's a trip or relocation, just making, you know, real sound, solid changes to get past the problems that the two of you have had. Your person may not feel so sure about this, even in all the changes, even in all the things. They're not 100% sure. They have one foot in and one foot out. And that's because there has been either third party or a heartbreak and pain. I get third party. It's showing up like twice. Let's see if it's anywhere else. Possibly three times, but I get third. It could be third party or some type of secret that came out that was really difficult for the two of you to deal with. Now, one of you are becoming cold, distant. The other person won't let them. I get a lot of um, accusations, threats, th threats. That's what I'm getting. Threatening a person and saying, you know, all the things, you know. And that does make the other person react because they don't want to lose their person. But they're even getting tired of the threats and or the attitude or the mental manipulation. Someone's getting tired of it, of having to continue to fight and try to prove themselves to to their person, especially if this was an old hurt and an old pain and, and an old betrayal that has happened long ago that still kind of comes up. So I do feel for that's for one group of you, because this is two groups that I'm seeing here. That's the first group of you where it's like, OK, you know. I feel like I've stayed in purgatory long enough. When are we going to let this go? Um, and a person is kind of like really still stern and, and stubborn. The other group of you, though, is a third party situation. And I feel that someone doesn't feel now. Now, I, now it could go. It could be a woman with two men, but I'm reading it as a man and two women because that's what I see. So this is a man who wants his cake and eat, eat and he wants to eat it, too. And he's been doing it well for quite a while because again it may be distance there's a woman that he may be seeing that I don't feel like she really knows for some of you she does not know what's going on um she doesn't pry she's not one of those type of people and I feel that this man he's in a big pickle because he has his woman he doesn't want to lose her but he also doesn't want to lose the one that he has on the side he doesn't because they both give him something that they he really truly need. So even though he may have said, I'm going to leave the person alone and we'll start all over and let it go. 
he's having second thoughts about that. It's very difficult for him to let her go. And she doesn't even know that he does. She doesn't even know that she's been let go because she hasn't really been let go. He's only saying that to appease the other person that is threatening him. That's a big storyline that I'm seeing. But if he, okay, whoever this woman is, is putting her foot down and he's saying, yes, I'm going to do that. He has to. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's going to have to. In another four months time, he's going to have to. Now, how that works after or during, will he even make it to four months or what's going to happen to the two of you after the four months? Um, We'll look a little bit deeper in the extended. But I see someone here who definitely is um, trying to hold on to two people, mourning the reality that he can't keep this going on probably has already been found out here and for a small percentage of you I want to say that um he fears that you may even be seeing someone or the man fears that this woman may be seeing someone on the side as well so that's what I have for you guys kind of deep I know if you're interested in that extended you could always find it down in the description box below you could also find and also the details to the extended um you can find down there too. Also, you can find the Cancer 2021 yearly and the link to my website. Otherwise, if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Cancer.